Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you real fast how to put in the debug camera or the limitless cam camera for Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai, Napoleon and Empire. So first of all you go to your computer, you go to, the, uh, to your main hard disk drive, then you go onto users, I have it in German but there is no difference, so you go into user, your username, then you go to app data, if you search this for the first time, app data will be a hidden folder so you have to uh, put in the name in here manually so you see here C users username app data roaming as next and if you open this folder roaming you have quite a lot of programs here you go to the creative assembly uh, the creative assembly is uh, the producer no, yes the, the producer producer of the Total War series so you want to double click on them and then you have Shogun 2 Napoleon and Empire so first of all, if you change uh, the settings for Shogun 2, it will also change the settings for Fall of the Samurai, since uh, Fall of the Samurai is integrated into the main game Shogun 2. So we're just going to look at that. Then you see a lot of folders here, and you want to double click on scripts. Then you see this little text file here, preferences.script.txt, you double click on it. Then, um, well, we see a lot of gibberish here, but uh, what interests us is the default camera type, because uh, we, we want to ch change that, so we go to default camera type. Uh, I just searched it with, uh, with CTRL and F. You search with CTRL and F, you type in default, and then you find this default camera type um, and uh, a number behind it. And here's an explanation. So. Uh, the zero is the normal Total War camera. Uh, if you put a one behind uh, default camera type, it uh, puts in the RTS uh, camera. And if you put in a two, oops. And if you put in a two, it will put in the debug or limitless camera. And this is what interests us. So you put in the two here, default camera type two. I already enabled it, but for example, if I had a zero here or a one, then I change it into a two same thing for you guys you just change it into the two you close the file you save it and if you restart the game now you will have the limitless camera in both campaign and multiplayer games the same also works for Napoleon Total War and Empire Total War um, the script uh, this text file is the same for both games I'm, I'm just gonna highlight this for you so you also have the default camera type here you also, uh, for an opponent Total War, you also just change it into the number 2. Here, uh, I'm going to show you again. And then the same thing for Empire Total War. Scripts, preferences.empire.script.txt. And then we have the default camera type here. I also changed it for this game because, yes, the limitless camera is much more helpful if you're playing big battles with line infantry and you have to have a better overview so you just put in the debug camera and um, I just have to tell you one more thing that's if um, you change if you change your graphic settings or your game settings or your um, sound settings in the game it's gonna reset your camera settings which you put in here so each time you change your graphic settings it will reset the default camera type to 0 or 1. So each time you uh, change your um, in-game settings you will have to re-put um, the 2 in here. Because, oh well, I don't know why, I think Creative Assembly just wants to troll you a bit, I don't know. Well, that's just to be a little thing to be wary of and I hope this video helped you and yeah, goodbye.